Let's get started, guys. Here we go. I'm John Silva. Thank you so much for joining me here today. All right. Let me know in the chat if you guys can hear me well. Today, the live stream is going to be awesome because I will help you to understand a bit more about modeling. All right. As we progress on here in this new challenge, working with 3D, you know, it's, it's been awesome to have this new challenge that is going to increase even more our creativity. So um, we have here, let me see. Oh, hello, John. Hello, Bella. Incredible Girls is here already. So uh, guys, just to tell you, all right, already, as this countdown is just, you know, uh, starting here just to notify everyone, but here we go. Um, we're going to talk and we're going to make some very beginner, very friendly, I'd say, modeling, okay? It's going to be very simple ones. So as I think that you already saw, I assume that you already saw my past tutorial where we cover, you know, essentially some of my tips regarding the, the modeling. But also, we're going to cover a bit more in depth in order to create a bit more, okay? And my friend, this is dedicated essentially, right, to help beginners to understand from 2D art. And I have something very nice to show you. Hello, Flavio. Hey, my friend. I have something very nice to show you before we start here officially, okay? And things that I want to bring even more as I learn more and then we increase more the, the lessons, challenges. But today we're gonna do here, okay, uh, the sand castle, very simple one. Only uh, it's a cube. It's look like a Minecraft, you know, Minecraft. I think that all all of you have seen somehow Minecraft, and perhaps a a bit chair for very beginner. Of course, if you if you have a lot of experience, you can go with something like that or something very <laughs> you know low poly. No worries, my friend. Here we have just having fun. Okay, and before I start here, let me show you this design that I made. You know, this week I was studying here, you know, as usual, I love to study. And then I made this kind of concept. This was done in vector and using painting. Uh, at this moment, I'm studying a lot as well, 2D. I'm not, you know, I'm not leaving the 2D. My skills is made with 2D art. I love that. I use affinity to create the vectors. And then I made this concept, a tug, you know, <laughs> uh, it's a bird. And then I made the the, back, uh, the the blender, you know, the blender uh, 3D design here. I'd say, you know, vectorizing 3D. And here we go. Uh, this is the wireframe, you know, wireframe. And then I'll show you right now the, uh, I'll change the viewport to something like that. I've sculpted this 100% here using 3D techniques. And then I made this in the coloring, very basic coloring, <laughs> very you know, simple one. And then the rendering like light setup here. Boom. So uh, my main idea it is, you know, it is to bring this kind of lessons to here, but it is too early to teach you how to achieve that. It, it's too early. If you, I start to do that, most people will let's say uh, it's too much, you know, we need to go little by little, step by step, until we achieve something like that, of course, that's why we are progressing during these weeks, during the live stream, so I expect that you watch all the lessons, my friend, I will tell you again, you need to watch all the lessons if you want to keep following me on here, if you want to grow with me, I'm sure that people that are watching every a uh, week, every lesson is going to learn. And if you don't watch, unfortunately, you will not learn. This is the consequence, my friend. And here, ah, uh, the wireframe in different colors. Well, I just um, go here as far as remember, uh, go in the viewport, right? But as you know, I, uh, I progress, I can teach you guys more. Okay, here we go. So we, you know, in my case, I made that and I'm very happy to accomplish more results like that, sculpting and then making the rendering. So let's go 
to the lesson, all right, guys? Here I have my map, which is the uh, this one here. Let me start from scratch so you understand what we're gonna do. In all my lessons, I always do my best to prepare you some of the best content, you know, to teach you little by little, step by step. So the 3D modeling, all right, it consists always in a virtual space, okay? And essentially, when you are creating, mainly in Blender, let's say, I'll create a new document here from scratch. I'll create new, I'll not save. We're gonna always start with this cube, okay? I will delete this cube. So this is our virtual space. And we always will start in the object mode, always object mode to add primitive objects. Primitive objects, I think that most of you already know because of the other lessons, but I will explain to reinforce, to make your understanding even strong. Mesh, cube, mesh, uh, UV sphere. So these are all primitive objects. These are the guys that you're gonna always use to start any 3D element, okay? Any, anything. So make sure that we are always going to uh, add object on here to the primitive objects. The view mode, the view mode consists essentially. I need to tell you. Let's say that you are adding cubes, a lot of cubes. I mean, duplicating, duplicating, etc. We have here a lot of, of cubes. The X-ray view mode will allow you to see behind. Is going to allow you to see behind of the the cube or the faces. You know. Hello, Tick. Welcome, my friend. It's never too late to learn here on the Vectorize 5D. <laughs> uh, so the X-ray is going to allow you to see behind, which is very important because. Since it is 3D, we need to see what's behind. Let's say you want to edit this without without the X-ray. How do you how you can select the corner very behind? You cannot see, so X-ray view mode is very important. Okay, grab a note, my friend, and note all of this. I'll make this PDF available on the Vectorize Club 5D, the new club. Okay, there is a new group. So join there, I'll make this all available on there, the PDF. The view mode is very important to see behind, but also there are other modes like shading, there are also um, material and rendering, okay? So the ones that you're gonna, you're gonna use a lot, most case it is the X-ray for modeling, shading just to, let's say, see this material as a stand, as clay, let's say as clay. If I show you again here in this project, oh, just show you this one here from Rio de Janeiro. I made this this scene working like that, you know, all, no color, only gray, things like that, you know. I worked only in this view, which is the shading. And then you can go with the material, which is related to the coloring, okay? Our material is related to the coloring, coloring, or texturing okay and then finally the render is more the light light setup okay uh it's more related when you are um using the light like capturing the final image so render is always final it's always fine okay so essentially the first contact that you're gonna have it is this x-ray and shading and the material is more for later you know for this lesson we're gonna need to explore the basics the basics of using 3d is going to be related to what let me show you i'll show you my friend the basic is going to be consistent in the move you how you're gonna move how you're gonna scale how you're gonna rotate Basically, is this one G move S scale R rotate? Basically, this is the you're gonna use this a lot, 100% a lot. Okay, 100% a lot. I'm going to export this at the end of the stream and make this as PDF so you guys can always look and you know uh, or and use this to guide yourself. Okay, my friends. 
and then we have the axis the axis is related to x uh, if i press g and x is going to is going to fix it the the move only to the x or y and z these combinations is going to help you to model fast it's going to help you to have a consistent consistent result okay you're gonna use a lot i mean only showing you what you're gonna use okay nothing more than that all right having this in mind about these commands now we can start to to make the modeling all right so far we have just seen here the object view mode which is this one here on top to make this object let's say ah, i want to start to model this how edit mode edit mode edit mode will do that okay the edit mode will uh, help you to build the sides the things to build the building let's say okay for today lesson we want to develop what the castle okay this castle here is important for you as let's say beginner it is to understand that we have shapes all right in the 3d as well which is related to this one here we have the front imagine this being uh, the castle in front we have this shape we have one to on your top another here and perhaps something like this kind of plainy the 2d view like that yeah let's say that we do something similar to this but of course you can you can build your own castle okay you can build your own castle it can be something like that or it can be something that is going up and then you can add more like that it can be something like this you know it can be <clears throat> something that adds a triangle on top which is going to be something like that I'm doing that by silhouettes you know silhouettes there are many ways that you can accomplish a castle result some can be hard others can be easy it depends about your skill set but let's say that we we try to do something like that which is nice okay cool and then look at this we can start to model our design on here we have this cube okay that one and then in the edit mode we're going to start to let's say create the shapes in this cube i'm going to select the face that i have i'll press e and then you can see that we're gonna have the extrude essentially the extrude is gonna extend more that shape we can add let's say many 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 sides here as we want once you apply the E is going to create more polygons as you see in these lines okay for now uh, just to give you an example let's say that we want to split this in the middle part okay we want to make this mirrored which is going to be helpful for us to understand this concept okay all right if i press e on here on top can you see that i'm selecting this face so where i click is going to select the face of that plane okay essentially this is happening because i'm using the select mode face and on I click is going to select that area then if I press E it's going to add an extrude I can do the same for this side here same and extrude and then as you can see if you go in front view it's not very symmetrical all right it's not 100% symmetrical and I'll explain you why because uh, if you if you want to do the symmetry there are some techniques that you can do all right there are many different ways that you can 
uh, do that there is one over here on top this X icon all right but this X icon needs to be enabled at the beginning all right in order to works because it's not symmetrical but I'm gonna do here a trick that's gonna uh, be very nice for you to understand how this can be accomplished if I press ctrl R you see that we can create a loop cut in order to let's say imagine this this error being sliced in the middle and then I want to go to the x-ray view mode here on top and then I want to delete all of this error here I'm selecting this and then I'm gonna press X and I will delete the faces as you can see uh, we have here at this moment this this cube being you know in this way and if I go here in the X oh sorry in the add modifier and then I'll apply the mirror I can essentially uh, mirror this okay let me add here just um let me see a reference in the middle just as a reference here and then i'll go to the mirror object like that here in the y y axis that's fine here can you see that it's mirror in the uh that case y axis so now if I change one side it's gonna change another side as you can see from this uh, you know let's say from this perspective that we are getting if we change one side of course it's gonna change another can you see it's only over the y-axis okay because here oh I made that Mm, you know I should made this in the front view actually you know that's why it's adding the, <laughs> the y-axis so far if you want to go to the to the front here like that actually it should uh, be something like that here let me do here rotating the the best way actually it is to do that by the x-axis but we have changed that uh, with the you know from different view but I will keep that in the the Y because it doesn't matter actually you know at this moment because we can always rotate later okay we have here this result for now and and then we can do this we can extrude we can extrude more this side and then we can add loop cuts by pressing ctrl r you know can you see you can uh, change this in the ctrl r the ctrl r is going to add the loop cuts can you see that i'm adding more loop cuts and then by pressing the the face selection mode i can do this i can press e and go here like that can you see so you're gonna use a lot these two functionalities the loop cut ctrl r and the e which is the extrude extrude is gonna help you to build this structure as you can see on here can you see but for me this part here i'll move this more to the y-axis because i want to make this in a nice size I press E, scale up. Nice, and then I can add more loop cuts on here. Let's add twice. You can scroll up your mouse wheel. By doing that, look at this. We have this kind of part on here. Uh, we can do this here, here, selecting even. I'd say. Oh, we have one here if I press E we can raise this ah, look how nice this is becoming can you see um, the importance of using the mirror at the beginning is that you don't need to 
double the work in another side. If you do in one side, you're gonna apply to another. Simple like that, which is really cool. Again, uh, we are working just one side, and this side is having the mirror modifier, as you can see. In your side, just to let you know that you need to test, you need to check if it's in the X or the Y axis. This is uh, is related to the view that you are watching here. Like uh, tick said here, it's very nice. Or uh, red, it is X. Green is is the Y, and Z is blue. Okay. In my case, I'm I'm not activated. You know the blue because it's not necessary it's very you know uh, you need to remind yourself about that so you you start to get used it here we go and then guys what we want to do it is that I can raise even more this tower up like that and then I will add one more lip cut here like this nice and then press this uh, part here, the corners. We can raise this tower like, like this. Very nice. Now look at this. Simple, isn't it? So we are just using two commands Ctrl R for loop cut and extrude with E, which is nice. Now, in our concept that we made as you no. Know, just for let's say planning purpose we have here a triangle and triangle in 3d becomes a a pyramid or a cone like that right, shift a let me go to the object object view mode then we can add a cone but this cone i'm going to make this with less vertices I'm going to decrease over here. You can see here, I'm going to decrease to make this in low poly. We don't want to have a lot of polygons. Something like nine is fine. Questions, guys, so far or not? Uh, Vela say questions from down. Can you do PDF for the beginning lessons? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll make this, all these PDFs. I have here a bunch of PDF to release for example here this one I have this I have remember the low poly actually I need to to upload all of this you know this will become our PDF for us in materials so you guys can use and study essentially here we go I'm going to move this on top let me increase the size using S you can this can become not like that. Huh? And then I'm moving with the G, right? So not like this. Also, you can do this. You can duplicate. Shift D, it is to duplicate, all right? Can you see here below in my hotkeys? Shift D, duplicate. Then you can can play all right you can play and make uh, the castle as you wish you can add here or make a small version and add uh, a small but I want to make something like that for now just as you know uh, friendly for beginners so on here we have used cubes and cones now we're going to dig even more into something a bit more advanced but don't worry because I will explain that as you can see, we are exploring the edit mode, all right? The edit mode is going to help you to use this, let's say, this command, which is the extrude. We're gonna use, we have used this a lot so far. The control R, loop cut. And then we're gonna discover about the inset. The inset is going to add internal loop. You're gonna use this a lot as well here in Blender, something like that. If I keep this object selected, this one here, and press I, as you can see, Blender is going to add one loop inside, you know, like this. 
just to show you. But that case, let's say that I want to create a door here. I'll press E just for now and move this more behind like that. I'll delete this uh, for now, this edge here, this face. And then I can move this more to to the back. You know, as you can see, I'm using the a x axis, all right. But it's going to depend about your view. It can be y or x. So don't be, let's say, uh, very very strict to my angles because it's going to depend about your angles. I'm going to bring this more inside like this. And here you go. Uh, there are some kind of you know techniques that you can apply. Let's say that you want to make this rounded. If you press, let's say, Control B. I'm going to open here. As far as I remember, you can make this as rounded, but I need to go to the vertices as far as I remember. Let me go here. And then vertices. Let me add more segments. But this can, as we are working low poly, as far as I remember, we need to add more polygons in order to do that. Okay, but let's let's keep this for now in this way, in square, because later we can apply this to be more rounded. Because to make this rounded, we, we would need to have much more lip cuts, you know, let's say we're gonna need to have much more lip cuts and change this to something like that to be more, a bit rounded, you know, like this. It's a little bit more rounded and then I'll scale this down scale this down a little bit I'd say that it's rounded but in low poly oh something like this okay here and then we can add some kind of I'd say extrude to make the bricks I'm going to add more lip cuts and if I press I or I and then I go and press G a little bit to the front, you can add a bit more let's say depth in these bricks. Let's add more I and G. Make this more forward. And look nice. Again, I'm going to create a lip cut here. Select I and then move this forward. Inset is going to add this like that. Here. You know what? Uh, let me see here. A back line in my screen. And now I have to remove it. <laughs> Should be my camera. Oh, I press I and then I will, I will create a lip cut because I want to make this more rectangular I and then E I can move more forward I and G oh, we are building a simple castle or tower I and G I will add this as well in this part. I mean adding more lip cuts because I want to add this to be rectangular. Okay, I don't want to make this to be something like that. I think that it doesn't gonna feel really cool if it's very rectangular. Sorry, a, a square. You know. Thank you, Chris. I really appreciate my friend. <laughs> Thank you so much. You know, it's uh, it takes a lot of effort, <laughs> but really appreciate, man. Welcome. So here, guys, I'm adding more these insets, which you know uh, add 
this more depth here uh you can select with shift if you want you can do that i'm mean, doing this manually because you guys can get into practice <laughs> i and g also oh, let's say here we have a nice amount of squares hold shift and press i and g move forward there we go again here i and g Little by little, guys, you will start to build a nice concept. If I change, let me change this a little bit to something like that. This is a just maturing preview, so you can change a little bit. I'm gonna make it a bit bigger, the tower on top here. Nice, ah, very nice, guys. Really cool. Oh, there is a, there's one part here that is missing. I move this more inside. <laughs> you know, I, I've crossed the door <laughs> behind. So it was here too. <laughs> so you need to be careful <coughs> with what you move. You need to see, you need to rotate, you know, you need to rotate and see what's happening. If you misclick at something. My friends, look at this. Very nice, you know. It, this castle is much better than the one that I made for you know this one. This one is so it was so simple, uh, but I wanted to give you more, more depth. You know, guys, you, you you guys need to do that, right? You guys need to, to try. Give it a try. It's simple, right? It doesn't need to be something very difficult. You, you can give it a try. Even if you are a beginner, you know, it, it's awesome. And then, uh, look at this this one here. We have the, the top tower. I'm gonna press Ctrl R in this one. Let me see here. Ctrl R. There is just one problem that we got when using the the cone, because you cannot create here a lip cut. All right, you cannot do a lip cut, but you could use the the knife too, but I will not cover about that because it's too complex. And uh, what I would do, I would do something nice to explain about that. I have here this cone, but let's say that I want to add a bevel here, all right? We're gonna make something very nice. I'm gonna delete this for now, delete this. And now press Shift A, and I will add a cylinder. The cylinder is being placed right here, and I'll type here, can be nine, nine sides here, all right? my head and then I will place this on top and I will scale up and move this up okay we have here a hat for this castle <laughs> no worries we need to do this now going to the edit mode again all right use the object mode to insert and edit mode to edit and then we can press ctrl R or ctrl R here and then you can add as many lip cuts as you want. Control R, as you can see. If you scroll up your mouse wheel, you can add more lip cuts. Let's add something like, like three, it's fine. And then I'm going to select here this top arrow. I'm gonna press M at center. Here we go. And other than that, I'm going to move this down Oh, can you see I have selected only the front face that's why you, can, you need to go to the x-ray view mode if you want to select what's behind because if you if you scale this down it's going to make a huge huge problem can you see it's a huge problem that's why you need to go to the x-ray select the node that you want to change and then scale this down and select this scale this down and then we can uh do something that i wanted to do earlier which is this i will keep this or click twice okay cl click twice here it's going to select in this side which is what you, i want and then i can press e extrude however uh, it's important that you already notice this if i press e and then click you're gonna see that it's going to extrude not in in the nice way because we can use the the function instead of using e actually okay 
Don't use E. There is one two on the extrude that's called. Uh, I think that it is along the normals. This one here, and then we can extrude along the normals. Can you see? Now it's correct. So there is difference between extrude and extrude along the normals. Then we can have this result, All right? Yeah. Exactly, my friend. And then you can now scale. Oh, you can select this twice and scale this down and have this nice result. Can you see? Huh? Cool. Very nice. We have added a kind of edge into our. <laughs> oh my god, this looks like. <laughs> <laughs> the Kremlin, <laughs> you know, top tower in there, <laughs> somehow. Yeah, no, I'm just adding here and see how things works. Don't worry, my friend. Give it a try. Let's make this more like that. A castle. Okay, like this. This is a hat. <laughs> Which hat in this castle? Have fun, my friend. You need to have fun. <laughs> and then you can duplicate and resize, scale this down. I don't know if I have a place to the three sides. I don't know. I can try. And then here. Not too bad. I guess a castle, my friend. <laughs> Is that still a castle, but for kids, not uh, the real ones. <laughs> no worries. Okay, I think that we have completed this one. Let me go here. Just change. Uh, okay, okay, this one. I'm not going to apply the materials. We don't have a lot of time to go to the um, the materials. We can now. Uh, go to the chair a simple one all right trust me so you have two directions to go we can go with a cube like that or you can go with something more like this I think this is a middle term is more a bit more advanced than this one but you still have the opportunity to sharpen your skills by following my you know advices so let's get back on my guideline here so, uh, so far, just to, uh, you know, understand a bit more what we have done so far. Guys, my advice is for you, if you want to learn more about 3D, you don't need to use all these tools that it is available here. There are many of them, okay, here. But essentially, you will not use most of it. You're going to use only the essentials. Unless, if you, let's say, if you are very professional and very hard work in 3d and of course you're gonna use more tools well as a beginner you're gonna only use the basic ones the ones that i show you you here which is the again extrude lap cut inset and bevel bevel we haven't used it a lot but i will show you more all right but essentially it makes the corner rounded you know so uh we're gonna do now the we're gonna do the chair but it's up to you okay you can do this this is a <laughs> a minecraft chair not the the best chair <laughs> but this is your chair you can sit here yet <laughs> i mean me you know i i love to see something that it is let's say it's basic you know you can do that this one here is a bit more complex because you have a lot of cubes going on. Let me go and save this project. I haven't saved yet. Castle. I'm gonna type this as castle. Castle, my friend. Let's create a new project and we're gonna start now with the chair. Okay, um, by looking in this chair, as you can see, we have uh, think inside uh, by sides we have uh, a cube here another on here and then this cube 
it starts to go up like that and then go up again like this okay and then we have uh, another cube here guys this guy is going to be your best tutorial for modeling hard to face modeling here we go I mean that's fine I can keep it with that <laughs> this is the chair okay this is the chair done in vector all right but this can give us a nice idea about how it's gonna work I like to see things in inside just show you remember that I made this this character here this design I made this by side Obviously, it's hard to think in front of you, but as you work more, things become easier. So, at least you need to imagine things inside or in front, you know. You, you just need to have these two perspectives. And think this inside or by side, like that. Now, I'm working on front. If you press a stop, of, is it? Yeah. Front or right. Let's see this by right. Then I'm going to use this cube. I will scale this uh, down by by the height S Z. Nice. Uh, we are working in this area here, starting this S Z. And then I'm going to extrude or uh, edit mode, extrude this area using the face. Uh, extrude move this up but I need to rotate a little bit rotate R like that can you see here you also can press again E extrude and rotate and G ah, here we go you are you are seeing here the chair ah here we go the chair is done but the chair, there is no legs on the chair. We need to have the legs. <laughs> okay. We need to have the legs, my friend. Because if it doesn't contain the legs, how this will stay up, you know? Stand. I will create loop cuts. Can you see here? You can go in two directions. You can add a new cube. Alright, you can add a new cube and then do that all right you, you can do this however we want to make this a bit more uh more tricky for you so you can learn that case i want to go to edit mode and press ctrl r on here if you over your, your mouse you're gonna see that the lip cut is gonna appear but if you click it's going to add this time I want to add actually two lip cuts like this and I will click good also I'll create two lip cuts on here and click I've basically I have subdivided my object in multiple faces as you can see on here why I did that you see you see Remember that I have here this bottom part being be placed in this part here below. Yeah. Then I'm going to select with the face turn on. I will select this both part below. Again, you need to rotate this down just to select this both part, this both face. I'll press I to insert and E. To extrude ah, we have a legs now we have a legs for this chair nice but we still have we need to have the the legs behind because if someone sit on here is going to probably do this <laughs> the gravity is not going to support properly this it's going to happen this <laughs> can you imagine this happening yeah this would happen that's why my friend you need to see the physics i'm not the best <laughs> guy for the physics but i assume that this would happen all right guys uh we have here now this part 
This one here. Here. Huh. I'm going to again I will loop cut this error. Can be two times. And here's the trick. As you can see, in the way that I made here, it's not the, the best way, but it works. It's going to support our guy to not fall down. And I assume that it's gonna apply here. Let's do this. I'll press E. I actually I inset and then E of extrude and then look at this how nice is this if I hold control and click multiple times it's going to do this you know but be careful <laughs> because it doesn't it's not applying the way that I want it's making very strange because essentially if you, if you hold control and click right click is going to follow your mouse but blender sometimes doesn't you know apply properly we need to do this manually e and then you rotate make this because you start to practice all right as you can see i'm rotating on e and rotate and move e rotate oh. if you press e you can rotate now uh, essentially, we are creating the, you know, the path. E, E, and E. Aren't you here? Nice. And now, my friend, we have a chair. Ah, <laughs> uh, now I suppose that I assume that this will not fall down like that. <laughs> Yeah, this is a very friendly chair. Trust me. I would sit this and I would sleep here uh, easily. Okay, we have here this part of the chair. Uh, we can color this a little bit before we go, okay? But before we do that, uh, I want to show you about the bevel. The bevel can be found right here. Where is the commands? Oh, it's here. Okay, now we can explore the bevel. It's going to make the corner rounded, all right? I want to select the corners related to this one here. That, this one here, these corners. Can you see that it's, it's orange, all of it? Again, if you click twice, hold shift, click twice in the corners, it, it needs to be all in orange. And then if you press B, actually Ctrl B, it's going to do this. If you scroll your mouse, it's going to add more. It's going to make it more rounded. And here we go. You can see. Now it's becoming a sofa. <laughs> a little bit sofa, I'd say. Because it's a bit more soft. Because before it was too, you know, uh, before it was like that. It was very like stone, you know, it's very rigid. But now, it's a bit soft. The question is, what would you prefer? To sit in something more soft, rounded, or something more squared? I assume that I would hurt my back, you know? So, using the bevel, it helps you to soft things, you know? You can relate the soft and smoothness you is you is smooth so the bevel is the control b and also you can find here as well if you are using this option all right and you can apply in many corners that you want or faces let's say you apply this face here just as an example selecting this face and then control b and then you can make it rounded as well. This will become a sort of tube. Let me apply this only the edges. Let me see. Oh, I got a. I think that there is two. Let me see here. 
yeah, I'm going to select this part here and control B here and another side. I'll, I'll do both actually. Hold shift and apply both at the same time. As you can see, we have this line selected and this one as well. Control B and boom. We have this more rounded. Looks more tube now. Okay. And the same one here. If I select this, hold shift and control B. Here we go. Like that. Okay. Yeah, my friend. And then, of course, you can apply the materials if you want. Materials is something that is related to the coloring, right? Here, if you go to the option, you can now add new. So if you change on here, of course, you need to go to the viewport material. So if you change, it's going to change in there. And how do you change the coloring to be something like this? Essentially, you, you need to select the faces to apply these. Let's say you want to color this part on here and another one. You must select all of the part that you want. Let's say I'm select with shift, as you can see. Hold shift. This part is already selected, as you can see. And then I will add a new material, new, and now make this blue and assign. Can you see now? Now it's blue. Uh, the assign is going to essentially is going to apply the color to that faces. You know, this is what's gonna happen. There are nice ways to select in, instead of using the shift in click one by one, but you can use the so uh, select circle, hold shift, and then you can just over your mouse in the faces that you can see here. But sometimes I prefer the selection box because I feel like you have more control. Oh, oh, it's already selected as you can see. Okay. And then I'll hit assign. Here we go. friend look at this so we have two materials we have this white one this basic color like that and also we have the blue so if you change this blue color it's gonna change immediately in there because this material has been assigned to these areas so simple and it easy make sense I think that that's all for, for now. I think we have covered the most essential part of the modeling. I don't know. And yeah, yeah. Guys, uh, I will make this available, all right? The PDF, this one here, on inside of the Vectorize Club Telegram. All right, I will export and I will send to you, to you in there. So keep this as material for you to study, okay? There are more comments here that I've placed it. So it's about duplicate and separate. Don't go above ab uh, about this. Let's say focus in these tools, focus in these functionalities, because it's only by focusing in this part that you will start to rem remember everything that we use it so far, right now. Where did the lines go? The lines is still here. It's just the lines are just viewport. You know, the lines is just. Uh, viewport modeling, you know, is not going to display always. This is uh, for 3D modeling, and in the end result, people will see only, you know, with our lines. That case, if you don't want to, that case, uh, they will see something like that. In render, we have no lights, but if we add lights, it's gonna become something like this uh, with the sun effect in here. Oh, very sunny, you know. Um, the bird, the bird that I showed, actually, you know, I, is a personal project that I made. Let me save this first. Hold on. Castle, castle. Hold on. Castle. 
Ah, not castle. It's, this one is chair. As we progress, guys, just to show you, hold on, before I answer our friend here. My idea, you know, is that as we, we learn, I, I want to teach you guys how to do this, okay? But before I teach you how you can do this, I need to help you to understand the basic, the fundamentals, all right? If I go direct to this one, hey, let's let's make this this uh, aviator, this flight, this plane, or you guys will get frustrated, or it's too it's too difficult at the beginning. But as we progress, because here you already know some basic tools, the extrude, the ones that I've used a lot to build this guy here. All right, we we have used it here. My case, the mirror and things like that. So for me, uh, happy, happy you guys to get familiar with Blender, with the basics, with the, you know, think that's very, very beginner guys, very beginner, you know. So you guys will start to get confident to, to follow me doing something like this, you know. I cannot start to do something very advanced, you know, uh, we need to, to go slowly. So uh, about the bird, the bird. This one I made as personal product. I haven't recorded or haven't explained it about how I made that, but I'm still learning. To be honest, I'm still building my my own workflow to to teach. But we we made a dinosaur. Is a dinosaur that we made? Yeah, I think the the two weeks ago, I guess. And you know, by the time that I learn, of course, I want to be able to to teach you guys more and this channel this you know vectorized channel is about I learn and then I teach you how you can do that in the easiest way as possible you know uh, this is my idea of course um, as I help you guys you guys also support my work in the vectorized club it's, it's very essential you know with all the support I probably would need to only work as freelancer and and I don't know if I would uh, be able to keep with the channel. Things is hard, to be honest, you know, it's not so easy. But here I am, you know, uh, working a lot to to be able to help people to learn with me, you know, and that's it. My case is, is this. My case is that my, my art skills in 2D is already very solid, you know. I, I can build many different type of designs with ease. And now having this new new challenge for me, learning 3D and also teaching, it's a new new world for me. It's a new new part. You know? And yeah. I you know I, I truly hope that you guys are enjoying our you know are learning are learning a lot with me. You know, I'm doing my best to to explain every single step uh, it's not easy at all you know uh, for me my mind always tell me hey you are doing something that's not cool or bad so my self-esteem is very shit <laughs> but here I am I am here to help you and that's it as you can see you know I'm not teaching any more affinity here in this channel I'm just using as part of my job but I'm not focusing anymore it's more about my process it's more about uh, workflows, you know, affinity. It's using another, you know, a place for me. It's to leave my heart, but now it's not my focus. My focus now is 3D. It's to learn and help you guys to understand this new world. Because only 2D is not enough. You need to learn more. You need to see, you know, you need to grow, my friend. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I think that's all guys I've, I've covered everything all right and you can join to the club I'll make I'll make some maintenance on the the club's website like updating the lessons in there also the PDFs and also the materials done so far so you guys can have access in there and yeah that's it so um, do you guys have questions for now I can answer you next week I think that we can go to the scoped. Okay, we did here. We have completed this challenge for these two weeks, which is the. Let me hide here. Hold on. We have completed 
these guys here the umbrella and the palm oh look look how awesome is this in just two weeks we have created this modeling you know very nice and imagine in one year i don't know <laughs> how, how many things that we can create together things that are you know in my head is still very empty <laughs> but let's see and I want to build more now scope tutorials regard the hard to face objects. This is very fundamental, but scoped is awesome. I love that sculpting. Okay, guys, uh, thank you so much for your time for watching this uh, video. I hope that you have a lot of fun and learning a lot with me. Thanks and see you and bye bye. Take care guys. Join the club. I'll leave the link here on the description. And also on the um, on the chat. Okay, join on there. You're gonna have a lot of fun. Bye. See ya.